Now, here you see Masjid W.D. Muhammad and Imam Khalil. He said that, inshallah, I would get a chance to talk about the grand opening, so we might as well do it now before we get into the lecture. Here you have Masjid W.D. Muhammad. This masjid sits right now on the corner of Belfort and Hogue in Houston, Texas, built from the ground up. On the day the foundation was laid, we went out and reread the prayer of Abraham. Abraham and his son Ismael, when they laid the foundation of the Kaaba, and they said, Oh Allah, please accept from us this work. It's Quranic. This is Imam, that's what Imam Muhammad has taught us. So everything we do, we try to do it Quranic. The Quran is it. Forget it. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sharing this with you for, I'm not sharing this with you to impress anyone. I'm just sharing this with you How as an example. How many of y'all remember Imam Muhammad's discussion on wisdom? When he gave the definition for wisdom. He said, Hakim means wisdom. And he said, wisdom means our wise person. He said, the wise person understands the rules of logic behind a thing. And so if you say Hakim, it means judge. Hakim means judge. Hikmah means wisdom, right? So uh, a, a, a person with Hakim, he has wisdom within whatever field he is in. So Imam said that means he understands the rules of logic behind whatever field he is in. Well, as we will get to, and, 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 and as we have been talking about, the Quran is the genesis for knowledge, it's the genesis for information. So whatever you get, take it back and compare it to the logic of the Quran because the logic of the Quran is flawless and it will stand up any place. So this message, message W.D. Muhammad. If you see this, if you see the columns, those columns are indicative of the masjids or masajid in West Africa. Those are West African architecture. Look, when you grow, you know, as growing up, you believe you want, you want to do it all. Whatever the imam say, you want to do it. So the imam said, we're going to decorate this country from coast to coast with mosques, with minarets built on West African architecture. I don't know how many of y'all remember that. Okay? He said, what? Would, would, would mosque or West African architecture in Israel. Well, here it is. When we got with the architect, we said, get, I, I took a lot of pictures of the mosque in, in, in Jenny, in Mali, in the, West, in the West African, the mud mosque. And I said, here, this is, what, this is the West African architecture. So he incorporated this, this feature of West African architecture into the design. Okay? Then the man said, we want minarets. So here it is. 45-foot minarets. Tallest thing within the area. You can see this masjid from way down the street. Matter of fact, if this masjid is five minutes from Hobby Airport, the second airport in Houston, Texas. Everyone that flies into Houston now is going to look down and see Masjid W.D. Muhammad. You ain't going to be able to come into the city. You're not going to be able to get into the city without seeing this. Okay? Praise be to Allah. You remember the imam said the dome wasn't originally Islamic. I don't know if y'all remember that. So the dome was picked up from Christianity, right? Well, we, didn't, we just had got out of church, so we didn't want to pick up the same thing again. So you see, we didn't, we didn't necessarily put a dome on it. Okay? Now, I'm not saying it's bad to put a dome on there. We, we, didn't, we didn't necessarily put a big dome on there. Okay? So this is it. It sits on 1.6 acres. Okay? Now, I know compared to here, we're trying to get like you all. Y'all got it going on down here. <laughs> they say y'all got, what, eight acres? Inshallah, that, that's our goal. Okay? Now, next slide. Here's the floor plan. Here's the, the musalla area. Back here is a nursing room for women who are nursing their children so that their children need to nurse or something they can come back here and have complete privacy to nurse their children. There's a changing table back here, sink everything, so that, so that their needs are accommodated here. Here's the general musalla. Here is a classroom. This is a big open room with air walls. There's an air wall that comes here and here. So this big assembly room can be divided into three classrooms. 
So if we're having some kind of conference or something like that, okay, the Islamic Learning Institute or Mali or whoever is, is having a conference, we can have a group in here, we can have a group here, a group here, and a group here. So we can have four different sessions going on at the same time. Okay? Here is a full-scale commercial kitchen, vent hood, grease trap, everything that will allow us to participate like in the summer fo school food program, will allow us to produce, di we can do a restaurant. That, that's how state of the art this kitchen is. We can do a restaurant. Here's a full, a, a full woman's restroom, wudu station, men's restroom, wudu station. Over here is our administrative offices. Here's a sitting room. So if you're coming to see the administrative offices, are you coming to see the imam? There'll be chairs here with a table and a flat panel television playing videos of Imam W.D. Muhammad. So you can come down and get taught while you're waiting to see the Imam. Here is a, here's a, a, a visiting Imam's uh, restroom. Okay, so that when Imam Qasim comes to town, Imam Fahim comes to town, Imam Yahya comes to town, Imam Salim comes to town, they'll have this area, whoever comes, where, they, where they'll be able to refresh themselves, et cetera, et cetera. They can, have, they can have this office and other things like that. For wh whoever we bring in uh, who needs uh, um, some privacy and things like that. Here's our conference room, which will be state of the art. Here is our children's play area, which will include a small indoor play system, okay? Because many massages, they don't include the children, and they make no accommodation for them. So we have that here. Then out here, we're going to put a huge gazebo for weddings, for uh, anniversaries, for whatever you want to do. It's going to be very picturesque. It's going to be an octagonal uh, gazebo. Then out here, we're going to have a, 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 I think it's 30 by 40 or bigger. It's a big, it's a huge play set for the children. Now, when you come to Houston, inshallah, we're going to unveil our plans for the 19,000 square foot community center. To, a comp to accompany Masjid W.D. Muhammad. A quote from the Imam changed my life, and as it changed many of yours, and there's so many of them that if we try to calculate them, our life get cha got changed all the time. Imam Muhammad was at a national convention, and he said those things, and, 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 and this is not a direct quote. This is, I'm giving you the concept. He said those things in our lives that are abstract need a material expression. Others mentioned that this weekend. Say so your business life needs stores and shops, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. He said your cultural life needs uh, theaters, cultural centers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. He said your religious life needs massages in schools. He said no wonder why they call us spooks. We have no material body out there in the world to represent us. Well, be thankful to Allah that your children, by the mercy of Allah, and I love what I saw here, all the young, intelligent people, completely, completely engaged, completely integrated. Everybody is busy and working. It's wonderful to see, okay? But in Charlotte, North Carolina, in Houston, Texas, and in other places, we're not spooks anymore. <laughs> We have a material body in the world to represent ourselves. So I know everybody's tight. Look, the, the, um, the economy is bad. We didn't, we didn't, but it, it was just the right time to do our grand opening. The message will be finished. It's right before Ramadan. We need to make a decision so the mayor could come in, the governor can come in, because this is historical. This was the first masjid in Houston, the one that the original Houston Masjid of Islam, it was the first masjid ever opened up in Houston, Texas. And now that we're rebuilding it, we're rebuilt, we have rebuilt, and now we're opening, we're reopening this site, which will be a historical site. As the first masjid built in Houston, we're going to go through the city and everything and get it designated as a historical site, inshallah. So it just, it, August 6th through 8th was just right. So if you can make it, alhamdulillah, if you can't make it, you can catch us online, www.masjidwdmuhammad.org.